Hello and welcome to Secrets Mystery Manor. I'm your host, Psychic Zelda Kelly. Warning, this podcast may contain sensitive material. It is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer and listening discretion is advised. Hello and welcome. Welcome. I'm Zelda and I am here to tell you this story. Oh, it is a good one. So, uh, you know, I almost didn't bring this to you. Because I think there are some times that experiences have to remain untold. I don't know why that is, but I just feel that uh, this this is a creepy one. This is a creepy one. So if you like this sort of thing, get ready. And you know the drill, my darlings. Get out your teddy bear. You know, snuggle in. Get your little blankie with them. Snuggle in. Get wrapped up. Make sure your little toes are covered. (laughs) Get your popcorn, your snacks, your candy. You can't go without red licorice. Come on now. And then you got to top that off with your favorite drink, your soda, your tea, your coffee, whatever the case may be and whatever floats your boat. We're getting ready to start this episode of Secrets Mystery Manor. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... Getting started, this was a few years ago. This was actually a client of mine who came to me for several readings. And you are hearing the fur babies in the background. You know the drill. Um, right. I can sit here for hours and it'd be quiet and peaceful as can be. And the moment that I start talking, well... They're playing, and somebody got hit in the nose, and he's sneezing and carrying on. So, okay, I think all that's over. Back to the story. <laughs> so forgive that. But, you know, that's here. That's that's in the house of Zelda, so that's here. This client was had a high anxiety level to begin with. She was really high strung. When I met her, wow, this has got to be 20 years ago, at least. More than that. Um, When I met her, she was frazzled constantly. She had lost custody of her son to her then ex-husband. And he he just did it to harass her. He didn't really want the little boy. The little boy was about four, something like that. He wasn't in school yet. And it just devastated her, devastated her to the point where she just couldn't hardly function. So she found me. I started reading cards for her, and I was helping her through this horrible time that she had with the card readings. And like many, she was also getting advice from another person, and that was fine too. And um And I was hoping that together we could have worked out a solution and a system for this young lady with her son. It was really horrific, and and I, I always felt for her. Well, she did not come to see me for a little while. And I mean, she was a daily caller. She would visit me almost daily, if not every other day for a reading. It was very hurtful, horrible for her. And then all of a sudden, one day, she just disappears. And, you know, after a week, you think, wow, I I wonder what's going on with her. I wonder what's happening. And I thought, should I call her? And then I thought, no, you know, she'll resurface. She'll resurface. I know she will. About three weeks later, I get a call. And she said, Zelda, and her voice was weak. She said, I have not slept, which seems like in three weeks. I'm like, what's happened? Is your son okay? And she said, yeah, he's fine. But I had a, yes, did you hear that? That's shaggy. I had an experience, 
and I have to share it with you because I don't know what to make of it. And I said, absolutely, come on over. And at that time, I had just left the one psychic line, was living in a very nice little house in Roll, Ohio, and she came to my house, and I would take clients into my house. I wouldn't do that today unless I really knew somebody, but I took her to my house. She came. We sat, and she burst into tears. She was pale and dark circles under her eyes. Her hair looked like it had not been combed for two or three days. You get the picture. She was a mess. So she proceeded to tell me that she went to this other woman. And the other woman was basically telling her the same thing that I was telling her, that the premise behind this ex-husband was just to upset her, harass her, and that her son would come back to her someday. There, She would have the upper hand. And I saw where she would have two more children, and she did. She actually got married again and had two more children. But in the meantime, this whole scenario, the energy from her, didn't frighten me, but it bothered me. And I got to tell you, I didn't know what to make of her story, but I know that it was true because I could read her and read the cards and read the situation. So here's what happened. This other advisor, that was a sneeze, bless you, sissy. Um, this other advisor told her to invoke the power of the Psalms. Now, look. I believe that. I'm the first person who'll tell you to believe that. But I'm also the first person who's, who's going to say, be careful when you do. Watch what you do. Watch what you say. And be careful. So this particular... <laughs> this particular... Person And quite frankly, I don't even remember, I don't even think I ever knew who she was. Told her a specific psalm to read. A few verses. Pray this. And of course, this young lady always felt that her grandmother was nearby and was protecting her. So she started the day that I she left the last reading with me. She started saying this at night. Well, nothing was happening. And you know how that is when nothing happens. And she was, she was just no stranger to trying to make things happen and manipulate things in her favor because she was just a nervous wreck. I get it. We've all been there, right? I mean, I know you're understanding. So she starts praying these psalms. And no, I'm not going to give them to you because I don't want the same thing happening to you. Even though you think that this may be cool, I don't really think that it is. Not, not, the, not what she experienced. Okay, so she's praying this and nightly. Nothing is happening in her court case. So she feels that she has to ramp it up. So she's really fervently emo putting the emotion into it. Now, back then, I also taught the laws of attraction, and she understood what thoughts and feelings could do. And the emotion that would, behind it, would be behind it would actually manifest what it is that she wanted. So she was using that in conjunction with these psalms. She was praying these psalms. She continued night after night. This went on for about 10 days. And intensely, because she could not get results. Could not. So she thought. So, one night, she said the room when she was was praying these and she asked always for her grandmother to maybe be there with her I don't know 
So she was praying these psalms, and she said the room seemed to turn a different color. There was a different hue. Now this is at night. The lights are off. There was a dim light that was coming from her hallway that was in her bedroom. She could see it. But she said when the, when the room changed to a different hue, it was so silent that she could hear her heartbeat in her ears. She could hear the silence, if that makes sense to you. You may, you may have experienced that. I have. It's, you know, they say silence is deafening sometimes, and it is, it's a frightening type of thing. So as she decided that something was going on, so what did she do? She turned up the volume and prayed these psalms even harder, even louder. The instruction was once, once, once a night, once. Well, she was praying these 20, 30, 40 times over and over and over. I'm going to tell you, as soon as we break for this special message from Psychic Secrets, and I'm going to tell you, I'm sorry to give you the cliffhanger, but it's worth it. So stick around and here we go to that message. We'll be right back. Thanks for the break. Hi everyone, this is your friend Zelda Kelly, and I would like to take a minute to invite you to stop over to Psychic Secrets. That's www.psychicsecrets.com. There you can find an advisor that can help you with advice, direction, and guidance that you need. And also, you can read our blog, which has a lot of really, really good little articles and information and can actually answer some questions for you. You can find us here on this same site, this Secrets Mystery Manor. We are there. Huh. So you're there already if you found us. But we also have another section, which is the Secrets Laws of Attraction. We have some wonderful videos up, and we would love to have you stop by and take a look at that. Now, I want you to know that Secrets really is here for helping the person. We have qualified, experienced advisors on call 24-7. We have the ability to chat. We have the ability to take a call and actually even a video call if you feel so inclined. So stop on by to PsychicSecrets.com. That's www.PsychicSecrets. That's two S's in the middle now. PsychicSecrets.com. And take advantage of our first-time offer. For those of you who have never called before, first-time customer, we have an offering of 30 minutes for $30. You know, we can get a lot accomplished in 30 minutes. I'm so glad that you stopped by today to listen to Secrets Mystery Manor. And I hope you take the invitation to come on over and check out our advisors. We're here for you. So thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you soon and you'll see me on there. I'm Extension 11. So back to our podcast. Bye for now. Okay, and we're back. Thank you so much for waiting on me. Well, I know you want to hear the rest of this story because this is the creepy part. So the room is this odd color, this odd hue. The silence is just deafening. And then she's praying this, sitting in her bed. She has her her blankets tucked around her, sitting up. She's got her hand, her head's, her head is, is touching her knees. She's praying this, and all of a sudden, she hears footsteps in a, diff, in a distance. She continued to pray, and the footsteps got louder and louder. So it scared her, I mean, rightfully so, because the footsteps, she could not tell where they were coming from. So she laid down in the bed, and she was just watching, 
wondering what was going on. The footsteps got louder and louder. Before you know it, there was a man that came through the figure of a man that came through her bedroom wall. This man looked like he had clothes on. He had his shirt and and some pants and shoes. His hair was a little a, a little messed up. He did not look as spiffy as what you would hope getting a visit like this. So she said he's his clothes were kind of rumpled up and maybe a little wrinkled and he kind of looked a little dirty but he had this very odd look and very odd glow about him. She said he walked into her room, stood at the one end of her room, and then walked up to her bed, bent over at the waist. I know, I've got chills too. Are, are, you, are you getting them? Because I've got chills. Bent over at the waist looked her right in the face, and she said she could feel his breath on her face. Now that's how close he got. And looked at her straight in the eye and said, What is it that you want us to do? She said that she screamed, pulled the blankets over her head, started saying, asking for her grandmother, calling her grandmother's name. She said she heard the footsteps go out again through her room and watched him walk through her bedroom wall. Now, here's a little tidbit. She had a second floor bedroom. So when he walked out of her bedroom, through the wall, and it was not through the window, it was through a wall, an outside wall, where did he go? To the cosmic unknown. So she's sitting there talking to me about this. I was really very, very interested at the time, wondering what on earth had happened. And so... As time went on, I guess she didn't learn. And she continued to pray this prayer, but in a much, much heavier, if you can imagine, she turned up the volume again. Why would you do that? Smack, smack, right? Why why would you do that sort of thing? But she did it. That was her personality. I guess it didn't work that time. She was going to push the envelope. Well, she pushed it all right, and the next thing you know, she hears the footsteps. The footsteps get louder and louder, and this time, she had decided that she was going to talk to him. She sees him come through her room, her wall in her room. Now, she said he acted a little bit robotic. Like, he did not come in and turn his head. It was he looked forward, and then his body would turn. And he would look in the direction that his body was in. That in itself is creepy, right? So, he stands there looking at her, and he walks over. She had laid down. He walks over, and he bends over at the waist and looks her right in the face this time not saying one word. And she said he was there for a good 15, 20 seconds. That's a long time when you're in a fear factor. You, you, you're you getting this adrenaline shot. And she said she could just feel from him that it, this was something different. Well... It scared her. She screamed, up go the covers. So now, she did not pray this prayer again. Night after night, she laid there awake until the early hours of the morning, praying that 
she didn't do something that shouldn't have been done. And then she came to me and told me this story, wanting to know what on earth had gone on, what had happened. Well, I'm, I'm very sure that she invoked an entity to help, but it wasn't quite the angelic entity that she was hoping to get. And I believe it was because of the intensity that she was praying, and I also truly believe that it was her intention because she did want something to happen to her ex so she would get her son back because that's how it was looking. Obviously, I told her, that's a no-no, don't do any of this. Maybe even to stop going to that advisor if the advisor is telling her to do something different. That's something that she did not want to do. She didn't want the karma. But this was her personality. So she stopped that. And for a long time, she was unable to sleep, unable to function. Would, would She actually changed shifts at work so she could sleep during the day and be up at night. She was that, I mean, really, now let's think about it, my darlings. Who wouldn't be freaked out? As much as I'm in this arena, sometimes things just get a little on the spooky side. But this girl did some other things, and we're going to talk about that also in future episodes of Secrets Mystery Manor. But I wanted to let you know that there's two things here that are very powerful. First of all, you don't invoke the Psalms to that degree where now you, you're putting yourself in harm's way. That was number one. Number two, unknowingly, she was invoking the laws of attraction. And she got what she wished for. Later on, her nothing did happen with her ex-husband. And when he found out that she said, okay, fine, go ahead and keep him. When he found that out, he didn't want him anymore. And it was a pretty simple task. They ended up actually sharing custody. And now he is a young man and he is married and has a family of his own. But this was really something to be hold. And listening to her explain and tell this story, it seems like yesterday she was sitting in front of me telling this. And to this day, sometimes I get a little creeped out when I hear this because thinking that that an entity can walk through your wall, eh, yeah, uh, there's a lot more that can happen too. So be careful out there. When someone gives you anything like this to do, be cautious. Be careful. Know the intention behind it. She's very lucky that she came out of this okay without an attachment, without anything else going wrong, or without anything happening to her former husband and especially to her son. But that's it for today, my darlings. And um, think about this. Leave me some comments in, in the, well, leave me, let me know what you think about this. Leave me a comment below. And also you can just subscribe. <laughs> Stop on over to PsychicSecrets.com and you can see the whole playlist of these Psychic Secrets Mystery Manor. We've been having a great time with this. And if you do have a suggestion of anything you'd like to hear, We'd like to hear from you, too. So you be well, and you stay safe. You be brave hearts, and you make sure that you sleep well tonight. And I'll talk to you very soon. Okay. Take care now. Bye for now. Until next time, thanks so much for listening. I just love this. Don't you?